。Hello， 大家好，欢迎嚟到啫喱学主，我系啫喱。今日咧，我会同大家分享呢一本嘅懒人恩物啦，千层火锅嘅。咁點解會叫呢一煲嘢叫做懶人恩物呢？因為咧佢入面已經係有齊曬菜啦，同埋肉啦，仲有粟米啦、魚同埋紅蘿蔔啦。咁食到最後，我哋可以落多個烏冬落去啊，或者落啲面落去啊，咁就已經有埋主食啦。咁我哋連飯都唔使煮啦，咁仲唔係懶人恩物？咁而家咧，我哋就開始整佢啦。咁我第一個材料咧就會用到呢個娃娃菜啦，亦都有人叫佢做大白菜啦，有人叫佢做高麗菜啦，咁 something like that 啦，都係嗰類嘢啦。咁既然係做懶人料理嘅話，我當然懶到盡啦，我直頭就一刀切咗佢嘅菜頭，咁就唔使逐塊逐塊剝落嚟洗咯。咁切咗個菜頭之後咧，就好容易佢就散開曬噶啦。咁我哋就誒洗乾淨咗佢先啦。洗菜嘅時候咧，就將佢逐塊捽乾淨佢啦。咁懶還懶，但係衞生問題就真係唔好懶啦。咁啲菜咧就已經洗乾淨咗，同埋瓊乾咗水啦。咁我就擺埋一邊備用先。跟住咧，我就準備咗一啲嘅五花腩片啦。咁我覺得五花腩片咧，誒、呃、打邊爐會滑啲嘅啲肉。咁而家咧就開始我哋嘅手作仔啦。咁第一層咧，我會係用一塊嘅娃娃菜啦，跟住咧就會第二層就係五花腩片啦，跟住第三層就係娃娃菜啦，咁樣一層一層如此類推咁樣搭上去嘅。搭到咧連菜連肉大概有七八層高嘅時候咧，咁我哋就將佢切開咗佢啦。咁切開咗之後咧，就準備擺落個煲度噶啦。咁因為娃娃菜都比較寒涼嘅，所以我都會喺煲底度落幾片姜先。然後咧就將切好咗嘅娃娃菜同埋肉啦，咁就將佢豎起佢，砌落個煲入邊嘅。砌到咁咧，就大概就已經係將啲五花肉同埋娃娃菜全部砌曬落去啦。咁我仲準備咗一啲切好咗嘅粟米啦。咁我就將啲粟米切成一片片，跟住咧就誒攝埋落去個煲度啦。跟住咧就攬靚咁樣啦，擺啲紅蘿蔔喺面啦。仲有咧就我個女最中意食嘅名門卷啦。咁就都係攬靚咁樣擺喺面啦。好。咁成個煲咧砌到而家咧就差唔多完成噶啦。至於湯底方面咧，我都係用一個最懶嘅方法買一盒雞湯翻嚟啦。咁就至於咩牌子嘅就冇乜所謂啦。咁我正常個湯底咧就會係一半雞湯啦，一半清水啦，咁就差唔多噶啦，我覺得。因為個湯一陣間我仲要淥烏冬啦，咁我唔想佢太鹹，所以我就唔加調味料噶啦。而家就冚蓋開火等食，滾起咗啦，咁就大概滾去十分鐘到咧就食得噶啦。咁各位開飯啦！如果你都好似我咁，又想懶，又唔想出去食，咁就不妨試下整呢一個千層火鍋啦。如果你都中意我嘅影片，请你俾个 like 我啊，同埋记得订阅我嘅 channel 啦。仲有仲有，记得揿埋隔篱个钟仔啊！多谢晒你哋嘅收睇，我哋下一条片再见啦，拜拜。